let's say we had x plus y multiplied against x plus z. I want to simplify this. How do I do that? Hmm. First, I use the distributive property and multiply this out. So I get x times x, and that's x times x, x times z, x times z, and then I get y times x, and then I get y times z. Very nice. Now, if you take x and end it with an x, you're going to get an x. Let's see that. Here's my AND gate. And if I have input 1, I have another input 1, I'm going to get a 1. If I have input 0 and another input 0, I'm going to get a 0. So x ended with an x will always give me x. Let's bring the rest of this down. Plus x z plus y x plus y z. Let's move this up a bit. Now x or x z becomes x. I can join these guys together x times 1 plus z. If you or a 1 with anything, you're going to get a 1 out of that. So, well, okay, let's show that. Here's an or gate. And if you have a 1 and a 0, you're going to get a 1. If you have a 0 and a 1, you're going to get a 1. If you have a 1 and a 1, you're going to get a 1. That is with an OR gate. So, if you OR 1 and a Z, you're going to get a 1. X times 1 will give me x. Okay, let's bring down the or yx and the or yz. And let's move this up a bit. Here I have x or yx. Well, yx is the same as xy. x or xy is the same thing we did here a moment ago, only with a z. Well, let's do it again. This becomes x times 1 or y. x times 1 is x. x times y is xy. Same, same. If you or a 1 with anything, you're going to get a 1 x times 1 equals x. Let's now bring down the last part, the yz. So now we have x or yz. And that is our answer. x or y times x or z equals x or y z. This equals this. This is our simplification. What do you know? And this is George Bull.
Bye-bye now.